Hi, I'm Shamal Sahir with the Mipaka Design Series, and with me today is Armando. Armando, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi there, thanks for having me. Um, yes, so uh, I am Armando Migliaccio. I am the project technical lead for the Neutron uh, project in OpenStack for the Mipaka release, and I work for a Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and I'm based in Palo Alto. Um, so I, I've been I've been involved in in, in OpenStack for quite a while, I would say almost since the beginning. And I've seen these projects, you know, the whole project grow tremendously over the past five years. Um, I started with Nova uh, and doing hypervisor work uh, and then moved to, to Neutron later on where I've been uh, focused since early 2013. I started as a core developer to grow in, into like, um, in, you know, my involvement more and more uh, eventually like culminating in game, in game the PTL for the project. Great. And now that it's been about a week since the design summit in Tokyo, could you discuss what were some of the hot topics your team uh, talked about and what decisions were reached in Tokyo? Sure. So uh, in, in Tokyo, I think we, we had a very productive summit. Um, sometimes it's difficult to like strike the, the, the blue balance between, you know, what needs to be talked and one, uh, what, you know, we'd like to, to achieve. Uh, time is always uh, a constraint. Uh, we covered many areas. Um, we talked about cutting edge uh, technologies and, and uh, topics like, like uh, network function centralization as well as container networking support. And we also talked about advanced services like firewall and load balancers. And without you know delving into too many details, um, we, you know we 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 started laying down the plan for Mitaga on how these these features can you know can proceed. And that started you know off uh, a while back, uh, but yet you know yet more needs to be done. Um, however, uh, at the same time, no new feature is really useful. If we don't, if we don't pay attention to, you know, to the stability and, and the performance of, of the current platform and, and the services, the core services that the platform must provide. And that requires a certain amount of, uh, you know, housekeeping and certain amount of rigor and discipline in making sure that, um, you know, the platform is stable and it's reliable, it's performant and so on. And we, we talked about that quite a bit too. <clears throat> Got it. So that's a good segue, uh, you know, performance, reliability. What what other user needs or problems came up in the design summit in Mipaka? Um Yes, um, Neutron, as uh, all other projects, you know, they have we we have many stakeholders. We have operators to think about. We have end users. We have developers too. Uh, but other open stack projects are also important. And you know, cross project interaction is also important. I'm thinking about projects like Nova or Ironic, for instance. And all these like stakeholders, persona or like entities, if you will, all they have different needs. And striking a good balance uh, um, so that you can prioritize these needs uh, within the span of a single release cycle, which is only six months long, it's, it's a really challenging effort. And in Mitaga, we like to make sure that we make progress on, on better operability and usability of the platform without compromising, you know, on richer, on richer capabilities too much. So. Okay, most most of our uh, efforts goes into improving operability and usability, and that's what users, you know, and stakeholders have, have been asking for. Got it. And I know there's going to be a tremendous amount of work being done in Mataka, but if I was to ask, what would you say would our top three priorities in terms of new features or enhancements to existing features right. that that we can expect in Mataka? Yeah. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, NFV uh, networking for container engines are in the minds of many. Um, and you know we we've made quite a uh, quite a bit of progress over the past uh, release or two to enable these efforts to proceed. Um, and more has to be done in order to better integrate with the core of the platform. Uh, also, better protocol support like IPv6 and you know BGP, so layer, layer three is also important. And you know we 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 we're, uh, we're looking into those. Uh, whilst uh, you know the latter are more relevant to the core of the platform, like IPv6 and BGP being like somewhat native services of Neutron, the former you know can evolve more autonomously. Uh, and IPv and, and you know and, and, and container networking is something that really uh, been bootstrapped uh, since the Liberty cycle, and we've done so by you know um, 
by going down the path of uh, allowing these efforts to innovate independently with the introduction, introduction of what we call the Jujutron Stadium. And this is a, a concept that help, helps us um, keeping the core of the platform focused, uh, but yet and we can enable smaller groups of folks to collaborate without you know, being, being bottlenecked too much. Um, and you know, that, that seems to be working so far. Great. And the product work group has recently started using themes to kind of help users connect dots in terms of, you know, the direction of a project. So in terms of themes such as resiliency, scalability, manageability, modularity, or interoperability, what are some of the key, what, what's the key theme or themes that, that Neutron will be pursuing in the process? Um, so yeah, when, when we look at themes um, and we think about, you know, scalability, uh, since, since Juno, uh, distributed virtual routing was a key feature that was introduced by the platform. And now users are starting to get their hands on it and they're, you know, obviously finding, finding issues that we, and we're working hard to address all of them being, you know, being reports from the field. Um, resiliency is also another aspect that we, you know, we look at it very carefully. You know, Neutron is all about data plane and making sure that, you know, uh, users' workloads are, are connected without um, you know, without disruption, and we also tend to uh, pay attention to to those by to to, to this aspect uh, because again, there is there is really no point in having workload if it if it average to it. Uh, as far as manageability is concerned, um, since last cycle um, we implemented you know online database upgrades, and this is a you know, a stepping stone for enabling upgrades for minimal downtime. So that is a great, uh, in, a great help for, for operators to provide minimum disruptions to their users. Um, as far as modularity, modularity goes, this is yet another theme. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we started off the journey of, of the Neutron Stadium since Kilo, the Kilo cycle, and this has enabled us to develop software modules that can interact with one another in a more loosely coupled fashion. So I guess this is the you know the very exact definition of modularity. And some of these modules interact with the core platform, uh, and more needs to be done for the core platform to provide the services to integrate you know these various elements better, so that the end-to-end -end neutron system you know uh, feel operates like like one. Um, so again, yes, needs to be done, but I think we're you know we're a good way off with there. And yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, more can be done, and uh, as soon as you know, more things and more aspects drop on our radar, you know, we, we'll uh, we'll go and you know, with with diligence, try to uh, prioritize and, and and take care of uh, as many aspects as uh, software development as we can. Awesome. Well, before we wrap up, is there anything else that you'd like to add that we didn't cover yet? Mm. Developing new features makes uh, and looking into bleeding edge, it's, it's an important aspect of any open source project that needs to be and stay on the forefront. Uh, but I strongly believe that that can only uh, come uh, without compromising uh, what, you know, what we built so far. Uh, there's really no point in, in, in presenting shiny new features if we have much more fundamental issues uh, uh, internally. And OpenStack and Neutron in particular, it's all, it's all, about the, uh, it's all, it's all been about uh, growth, right? And right now, we got to perhaps change gear and make sure that there is a better balance between you know, enabling new use cases, making sure that we can embrace more and more features, but at the same time, again, housekeeping and stability and, and you know, reliability uh, would need to uh, also uh, be given a, a serious a serious thought. So I'd like to you know switch gear since Mutaka and make sure that we have a better balance. Because again, you can only grow so much without imploding under your own weight. And uh, obviously, uh, um, any any project is at risk of that. And uh, again, it's it's a difficult balance to strike. And I, I hope uh, we'll uh, you know we'll, we'll think we'll think harder this cycle to make sure that. That we, you know, we manage to, uh, you know, appeal any, you know, any user that's out there, but at the same time, we don't disappoint ones that we've already got. Thank you so much, Armando, and we look forward to great things from Neutron and the Neutron Stadium project in the Thank you.